<laughs> yeah. Come yeah, on. padded work is, I think, something that all the players look forward to. So your contact timing comes into play. So it'll be interesting to see where we're at in, in that phase uh, of it. I know it's not going to be perfect the first day and nothing is, but it'll just be good, you know, to crack the pads, have the linemen have an opportunity to get up and, and run some inside zone, some duo plays where they can set their pads and let the physicality take part. You know, what, we haven't had that portion of it yet. What's Latham's comfort level on the left side at this point? I think pretty good. You know, uh, I, I think right now he's, he's, he's working on all the, all the nuances and all the detail of the spot. There's some things that always come up for rookies that are a little bit different that they haven't experienced. So we're trying to give him as much exposure as we can, you know, and try to accelerate his progress. No, but he's doing well. It's, it's, it's taxing mentally, you know, to absorb the content uh, of, of all, all the installations and all the protections and techniques that go hand in hand. But uh, by and large, he's, he's done a pretty decent job. How much of a sense of Nicholas Petit Frere do you have not having had yeah. him on the field? Yeah, I was hoping uh, he would be back. Um, I think we're going to push his rehab back a little bit to Friday. Hopefully we can get him back and then accelerate from there. Uh, you know, back in Cleveland, I had a number of tackles that, you know, started the year on PUP. Uh, so it's that situation where it's a fine line. You're, he's getting all the classroom walkthrough type work, but he needs to get on the field and practice, which he'll get to. You know, I'm, I'm not concerned about that. It, more importantly, it's getting him back into a groove where he can communicate and get into his pass sets and, and get that timing down because that's so critically important. Him at the head of the line at right time? I don't know. I just, I, I, in, in all honesty and fairness to everybody, I've reserved all my comments on the evaluation process until we've seen him in pads, seen him, you know, uh, obviously in a uh, preseason game. So in interact with them on the bench and see them make adjustments and see how they handle the, you know, the pressure of game day. Uh, that being said, I just, you know, I thought Saturday's practice in the stadium was really good for that atmosphere. It was very game-like for the players. They got a sense of, you know, the crowd communicating in noise, you know, being on their own away from, you know, not having coaches behind them. So that was real beneficial. I know it's early, but what, what is uh, maybe your thought process on the light side, what you've seen so far and how quickly yeah. you'd like to have guys claim yeah. some jobs? Yeah, so Jim, so, so what we're doing is we're mixing and matching. We're rotating all the racks. So we're, we're getting John a lot of reps. Uh, for instance, we moved the JD over there, Duncan over there today. Uh, we've had reps, you know, with, with everybody. So everybody's gotten some exposure, you know, over on that right side. So, and also the left. So let's not dismiss the fact that the swing tackle is just as important <laughs> as the starter. So we're trying to navigate all that work, you know, and try to really, you know, get a clear evaluation, not only for the starters, but really important for the for the backup position because as we know the backups become starters when you're with that right about the side cohesion up front and you're mixing and matching guys is it as simple as the best right guard becomes that or how much do you look at how the right guard works with the right tackle in your I think it's the best player you know we put the five best on the field it's always been our mantra so that'll continue uh, you know, but I, I, again, I want to repeat what I just said. The backup positions, you know, are really starting positions in the NFL. Um, for instance, you know, that, um, that third tackle, he becomes a jumbo tackle. He becomes that, like, tight end position tackle for us when we really want to get big. So we've utilized the jumbo tackle. That's a role for a backup that gets him in the mix of the game, you know, so he's all also progressing. So in other words, if he was up on game day and both starters played and he didn't get a rep, well, it's always good to, you know, navigate through some jumbo series to where they're actually seeing some playing time. So I, I think that's really invaluable. You met yeah, I mean, he's, he's very athletic, um, playing within the means of the offense, which he's doing, um, getting those, those reps on, like you said, that fifth time, um, kind of finding what he's comfortable with as well as we move forward. When you have a series like you did in that third down situation mm -hmm. where there was the pick on the ball that slipped out of his mm -hmm. hand and then the two throws that were, you know, one was overthrown, one was a throw away, how much of a teaching tool when there's not success in a, in a series can that be when you go back and watch Oh, it's great. Uh, you, it's great teaching right there on the field to talk through things because, um, you know, me and him are working together for the first time after a series, just kind of getting ready for we'll use preseason, getting ready for that first game is, is our communication as well. And he's like I've said before, he's extremely coachable. Um, and that's that's a that's a great starting point. Kelly said maybe two of the most important things for him were uh, timing and, and kind of knowing where he's going to. That's what he saw. I wanted to see 
you know, real strides in. Wondering what your impression is. Absolutely. Been. I think it's been great. Um, you know, we've put a lot of work into his footwork, you know, for the timing, the accuracy, um, the anticipation, you know, and as he gets those reps, you know, with all his guys that he's going to be throwing to in a game. I mean, every day, every day you got to make count. Just in terms of the physical aspect of it, the footwork, but just mm -hmm. the mechanics and the consist. Have you seen that progress from spring to now? I have. Um, again, it's a, there was no steps backwards, um, and he's starting to really feel what we're what we're coaching. Um, and then you know, if he has something, you know, that he he needs to to tweak a little bit, and we talk about it, and we go rep it out here in practice. So we, we did a bunch of stuff today you know, as well. I think because it's a new offense, it's hard to get bored right now, right? Because everybody's learning. But for two, in our meetings, we show a lot of cut-ups from, from the, the plays actually working from the Cincinnati days, even some from the Denver days of guys making plays in this offense. And that keeps guys interested. When they see guys making plays in this offense at their position, that keeps them really interested and motivated. You mentioned showing those Cincinnati uh, plays and everything. Obviously, Tyler is, is in that. How much has he been just as far as like helping the other guys well. get used to the playbook and get comfortable? Yeah, Tyler's been great. Tyler's helped everybody, including me. You know, you know, he's been in his offense for the last what five years or so. So he knows his offense like the palm of his hand. So he helps with the guys with all the nuances of everything. You know, how to read stuff, and I mean, he's been really helpful in this meeting. And he's a very positive addition to our room. Not quite, not quite, but he's getting there. And, and Calvin. I mean, a lot of times he's so quick and fast. I mean, he's fast when he's not trying to be fast. I mean, he's just, he's got that explosiveness about him. So once he gets fully comfortable with the offense, I can see him just like taking off. I really can. How yeah. has Jaquan Jackson been for you? Jaquan's been good. As a rookie, you know, again, a lot of come at these rookies or whatever. So he's playing two positions right now, the slot, the F, and the Z. So I'm trying to get him acclimated as much as possible to the NFL game speed. And uh, he studies all the time. He studies with our assistants. I mean, he's always in there, so he's doing a good job. So. Well, first of all, is that personality is totally different. You got one that's like this. And then you got one that's just like, you know, and I'll let you guys guess which one it is. Um, but in terms of their skill set, they both can catch it. Obviously, TP's a little bit bigger. Um, you know, he's bring a little bit more physicality. I'm not saying uh, two is not going to be physical, you know, but I think the biggest thing, you just don't know really what they're going to do because their skill set is alike, but at the same time different. I look at uh, two. He's a little bit slippery. You know, he's going to make a guy miss, catch a pass, boom, boom, boom. TP's kind of the same thing. He can track the ball down the field. So uh, I'm excited to have both of them. When you've got two guys that do some similar things and are interchangeable, mm -hmm. uh, like Callie has described them, yeah. what kind of things do you maybe look for from that third running back uh, when you're trying to figure out how to complement their skill set? Thumper. A guy that's a physical. This guy that's going to be an enforcer. You know, a guy that can, can play on first, second, third down, be able to hand it to him and finish games, you know, because I think in this National Football League, when you when when you play a game and you're trying to finish it in four minutes, you're trying to play keep away, you want that guy at 230, you know, 2, 2, 225 that you can hand it to and, and, and get those hard yards and, and finish the game off. We in the media make such a big deal about Derek not being here. Obviously, you weren't here last year. Yeah. Do you feel like that presence is being felt or people notice he's not here? Does his name ever come uh, up? Well, well, I think the, I think the biggest thing is the challenge is uh, with those guys that are in the room is, you know, he's from what I've known, I don't I have never coached him is that he was a great leader. And uh, Tajay can speak on that. But um, I've challenged Tajay and, and TP's played a lot of good football, you know, and that's the reason why we got him is those guys can lead in their own way. And um, I just ask them every day to be consistent. If you can be the best version of yourself each and every day, that's what we ask. Do you have examples of their leadership style? Well, I think the biggest thing is when you look at TP, he's not a voice guy that's going to voice his opinion too much. He's going to pretty much, you watch him, you're like, that That guy's consistent. Works his ass off every day. Excuse my language. And then Tajay, Tajay's that energy guy. Like, if you're having a bad day or if you need a play to be made, just get those jumper cables and just plug them in, and he's going to be that guy. So both of those guys lead in their own different ways. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of going away from Anyone running back to, to a guy that you were familiar with from your time in Washington that's here now in Sadiq Charles. Yeah. Uh, I guess, you know, 
Ali said that he was somebody you were familiar with yeah. before you guys signed mm -hmm. him and stuff. Mm -hmm. So kind of what do you like about Sadiq's game? Oh. And what, what does he do for a running back that makes him such an attractive inside option? Well, the biggest thing is with Sadiq. Sadiq, I'm so excited to have him because his, he's only tapped the surface. You know, Bill works with him every day. Uh, he's a thick, square body guy. You know, one thing that I know from have coached with Cali, you know, we always talk about mass. And he's a he's a big human being um, that can run, uh, can get out and pull. And that's the thing that I'm excited to see is that his ability to get out on the perimeter and get on some of these DBs and see what those DBs do. So uh, I think he's going to be a good fit for us. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously when you look at the stats, teams that get turnovers, they win football games. The more opportunities you get an offense, you know, the better chance you have. And we really put a huge, huge emphasis on attacking the football, not just trying to punch it out, but the, the word we like to use is attack. We want to attack the ball, whether it's in the air, whether it's on the ground, whether somebody's carrying it, we attack the ball. And when you use an aggressive mindset like that, it makes the kids feel like they're not defending anything, they're attacking. And so when they attack, you know, um, you get, usually get a little bit more aggression and you get <laughs> try to get the ball out. You know, what, um, in, in terms of Kenneth Murray, how mm -hmm. does this system maybe suit him? Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, as 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 we you know said earlier, he's he's um he's extremely talented. We understand that part, and he's a smart kid. But what we're going to allow him to do is just turn himself loose within the system. I mean, there are guys all around him that he doesn't have to be a hero. I mean, you got Jeffrey Simmons in front of you. You're going to be okay, right? But, you know, you don't have to be a hero, but you can just be free to flow and do some of the things you do. I mean, we're not looking for a guy to just be, you know, a maverick and, you know, play out of control. But controlled aggression, control, you know, uh, uh, taking chances, you know, calculated good chances and give him a chance to just free himself to go, you know, attack the football and make things happen. benefit from a fresh start to new system? Oh, absolutely. A fresh start and a little bit of a chip on the shoulder. Yeah. And so, you know, obviously those things, you know, bode well in his favor. But, you know, ultimately it's just trying to tap into all the potential that he has, try to help him reach that potential.